Hi, I'm so sorry you lost your baby and then had to go through a DNC procedure. Now, do listen to my video today. It's all about the healing that you really need at the level of your body, your mind and your soul to really help you step through the whole trauma that you've been through and get to the other side. Now, it's something people don't talk about and you don't give, get given this information when you're at the hospital. So come along and listen and I'll help you on your healing journey. Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. I'm all about helping women through their pregnancy and fertility struggles so that you understand what's going on with your body and really heal through all of your trauma and pain so that you can feel confident and whole again. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here and watching my video. I really appreciate everyone that comes to my channel. So do subscribe and support me as well. And if you have any questions at any time, you can leave them in the comments below or drop down into the video details. There'll be an arrow here and here. And you can find my social media links and send me a private message as well. I'm so sorry that you had to go for a DNC and a dilation and curatage is an operation that like, you know, this is your womb and it scrapes everything out of your womb. So on a body, mind and soul level, there's a huge amount going on and we just don't get told this by the doctors and nurses. Now, I've been through three of them myself, unfortunately, on my own pregnancy journey. And it took me a lot to really heal, especially on the energetic level and, of course, on the soul level. So what am I talking about and why is this so important for you to know? All right, well, what happens is you've got your baby inside your womb and everything's going well. And then all of a sudden something stops and then you go in for this operation that just scrapes everything out of you and you're separated. And then you're just expected to carry on. Well, it doesn't really work like that. It's not so easy, is it, just to say, hey, that's it, I'm going to step forward. So now there's a huge amount of healing that really needs to take place. And that's what I can help you with because I've been there. I'm a healer myself and I used all of these amazing techniques to help me step forward to heal my body and then to feel confident about myself once again. So because your womb lining has been scraped out, it leaves what's like an energetic hole in you. And this can create all sorts of traumatic energy and it could build up over a space of time if it's not really properly healed through. If we don't properly heal through things in life, they start manifesting themselves in other ways, anxiety, low self-esteem it could even be illness you know not wanting to go out perhaps mentally not feeling great you know there's so much that happens and when we go through a womb healing which is what i specialize in the womb healing really really takes care to restore those energies that are inside your womb and rebalance okay so this restoring and rebalancing heals the pain that you're carrying inside of you, that physical pain, that energetic pain, and creates that balance again. And it's incredible what you realise you've actually been going through when you go through those healing steps with me. Now, the healing is done by healing with the hands where energy is channeled. And it's also done, um, if you think about your whole aura, then the energy is channeled that way as well into your body. And whilst you're experiencing a healing, you will notice the changes going on in your body. You might receive pictures, visions, messages, or you might feel the feelings as well that you're going through. And this is all a really, really good sign that you're allowing things to process and that you're moving forwards on your healing journey. And there's so many open wounds that are just sometimes left um, because in the medical world, it's not understood at a level further than the physical level. But you must think of more of the body, that the mind and the soul is also involved. When you lose a baby, you need to grieve for your baby. 
and then also make that baby into part of your life because your baby is always, always going to be with you. Not just a memory, but also a part of your life. And it's so important to give your baby that place that they truly deserve in your life. And you'll notice that in family dynamics later. If you've ever heard of family constellations, then miscarriages and lost babies play such an important role and um, how the energy works throughout your whole family. Now, I know this might be a lot if it's the first time you're hearing about all of this, but perhaps you can hear from what I am saying, through what I am saying, that there's a whole deeper level to your healing that needs to take place um, because it's not just on the physical level. There's a whole other layer going on. To find out more about womb healing, I'm more than happy to jump on a call with you. You can also visit my website, ohmymamabody.com, where I explain more in detail about womb healings. And they're just something that really, really help you to work through your pain and grief. So if you are feeling a bit unsure whether this womb healing is for you, simply reach out and write with me and we can chat further, okay? Sending you so much love and I know it's such a hard thing to go through. You can also find me in my Facebook group, Healing After Miscarriage group it's called, and there you'll find weekly support in form of webinars where I help you with healing techniques and meditational exercises, as well as coming together as a group of ladies who truly understand each other. So do come and reach out as I've got so much there to support you on your healing journey. Bye for now.